something that I've always really enjoyed about talking to you, getting to know you, is that you, you're very honest, you're very real, you just say how it is. Have you always subscribed to that, that type of leadership where just being very to the point, or is it something that has developed with more confidence as you got more successful? It'd be just to get a really good feeling of, of your leadership style. Yeah, I mean, I've always been really honest um, because I think that your staff deserve that. And actually, I think in sort of troubled times like this, I think honesty is going to get you through it. So, you know, for example, you need to be honest with your staff about the pressures, about the sales, about what you're trying to do to increase those sales. You've got to be honest with your suppliers as well. So suppliers want to work with you. So if you're struggling to pay a bill and you're on 30 days, you know, could they work with you and extend it to 45 or 60 days? So I think that honesty is is key um, I do think you have to be quite tactful so you know there's a difference between being brutally honest and almost rude and upsetting people you do need to be a bit tactful and respect your staff and make sure that you're not just saying well that's crap it's like well you know do you think you can improve on it and just obviously working with them because they are your family and they're your biggest asset that's interesting oh, yeah, but I'm, blunt. I'm really blunt you know I'm awfully blunt you know, to the point that my accountant, this was years ago, and I shouldn't really tell you this, he came around to the house and he had a picture on his phone. I said, why have you got a picture of a horse's ass on your phone? And he said, oh, that's my daughter. And like from the angle that it was, I thought it was a horse's ass. And of course, I just came out with it and said it. It's just, and that's the sort of person that I am, where really I should have think, well, no, he's never going to have that picture on his phone. So maybe don't say anything. How did you just... He's my accountant though, so that's good. Just out of interest, how did you backtrack from that? I mean, what's your comeback when someone says no, that's I think it was like, oh yeah, it was the angle. But like I said, he's still the accountant, so it's fine. <laughs>